And then Holden's like shining his beam of light and there's slugs everywhere. Hi, welcome back to Panda Reacts. I'm Sandra and this is Ken. Hi. And Ham. And we're on Expanse tonight. Very excited. I guess we're on episode seven. So season four, episode seven. And last time they left us with kind of, well, it was a cliffhanger. Well, yeah. it, was, it was a cliffhanger of many types. There was green bacteria in people's eyeballs. Certainly Holden held onto a cliff there as the water oh. flowed into the horn. It was a literal yes, cliffhanger. that last Help! minute. God, um, getting into the horn, closing the door as the third natural disaster hit. So, the what was the first one? The we volcano. The earthquake. The earthquake. The earthquake. Hit, and that didn't do much. And then the windstorm came and killed some people. And then the, and then tsunami. the tsunami came and flooded everything. That but was that was that. that was be the earthquake was caused by the reactor melting yeah. down. Whatever. Whatever that reactor is. And then on top of that, the blue goo wasn't allowing the ships to have their reactors working at all. Yeah. So they're kind of slowly burning up in orbit. Yeah. <laughs> and the shuttle came down and the moon is on fire. And Yeah, the know, moon is on fire. It's, it's all uh, looking like, uh, you know, good or dumb wrong here. Yeah. So uh, that's where we left off. And, and, um, and what's his name? Murtry. Murtry. Murtry was, uh, you know, plotting how to get his people off and kind of scurrying over the other people. Draper almost died from no air, helping the gangsters get their supplies. Yeah, the amateur, amateur gangsters there. Yeah, and Apicerella was just mad because... She wasn't hearing anything. Yeah, she wasn't hearing anything <laughs> from Illis. Nobody's telling me what's going on. That's basically what went down. Dang it. And Amos did a lot of walking away without finishing the conversation. Yep. <laughs> oh, and uh, they found uh, the daughter. They found her hiding away on a ship, which I figured she was on because she barb. wanted out. Yeah. yeah. Except it's, it's going to crash. It's going to burn up because they are lower in the orbit to make the shuttle run shorter. So they're mm -hmm. closer to hitting the Atmo and burning up. Yep. Oh, and the shuttle that came down burnt up. Yep. So Murchie was like, here comes, I'm only bringing one of my shuttles down, blah, blah, blah. Good idea, actually, because when, yeah, when, when the one the came end. down, that was it. In the end, it wasn't a bad idea. So let's see what um, people thought of last time. Oh, yeah, Snarfle Cat reminded me of uh, Ashford talking to Diogo in um, season three. I watched my only child burn to death, he said. We had that scene with Ashford yeah. and the baby. There yeah. was a whole thing with Ashford and Drummer. Yeah. Um, trying to get to Marcus, Marco. Yep. Trying to get to Marco, and we think it's a trap. So, yeah, yeah we'll have to see. Yeah, Admiral Akbar says it's a trap. Etta Eskridge um, responded to my comment that there was a bright light ball in the, in the horn when they got in there already and i was like what is that the holocron or what the hell is that and uh it apparently was left there by holden and alex the first time they went in uh -huh. so it's very good because i did not remember that go away zero g ham yeah so the details matter as uh reminding us of you know marco and what he's like um he's a, a pretty highly charismatic leader yep. um yeah i think i think he definitely is trying he's trying to lure them somewhere he's not he's not dumb no he's sort of put out the bait he's no, just they're kind gonna of, take just, it hold my beer i like that wrote it no last name i list all the things that happened no fusion how could it get worse the expanse hold my beer i guess you're telling me that it's gonna get worse <laughs> yeah uh, interesting thing, the other day I was watching some behind-the-scenes cast interviews. I like stuff like that. And the lady who plays Kamina Drummer mm -hmm. is completely different than Drummer. Oh, She's got a high voice. She's, like, laughy and, like, 
really spunky and fun. And then she plays this drummer who's just like, like, I think people on the show were like, who's not most, most like, not like their character the most. And it was her. And then who's like their character the most? Alex was the answer. Yeah. Like he's basically the same person. <laughs> but yeah, I was shocked. Like, wow, great acting. Like, I would never have thought her real personality was that different. So that was just a side note from me. Anyway, uh, thank you for your comments as usual. You're explaining your information. I don't think anyone spoiled anything for us this week. Nope. <laughs> and uh, let's get to episode seven. Oh, meanwhile, on the ocean planet. <laughs> yeah, the new ocean planet. Yeah. Yeah. It's COVID-2164. <laughs> yeah, life fighting. Can't start a fight in the horn. Keep me updated if anything We need Miller to return. Hold it. Big string. Pull it up. You're blinding me with your light. So we're all just still at the mercy of you and your invisible friend. Yes, you are. <laughs> Sorry, but at least I saved you from dying. At least at that moment. <laughs> you might die later. Some kind of outbreak. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it that. It's more like an allergic reaction of some kind. Just sit tight. I don't know. Are you lying to him? She's lying. She's trumping. That's not an... <laughs> Is that a new verb? Yep, she's trumping. She's trumping. For sure. Lying so hard. I thought you came across as honest and open man. Do you know who else is honest and open? The person who says nothing when nobody asks a fucking question. Question. You're having I problems. Six never sleeps. I don't like to see you like this. You wanted to be a part of this campaign. You're right. I did. Now we know I'm not a <laughs> Oops. Marco and Aros. It's going to be a lot shorter for all of us if people begin to starve. I understand that, which is why we all need to get out of here as soon as possible. I'm listening. company policy suddenly changed. I don't know, I'm just trying to work out exactly what we're dealing with here so that we can possibly help you fix the situation. Who are you? Who wins if we <laughs> sign up to me? Let me try again. He doesn't have it. Yep. Until people start going blind. They already are. I can't be sure until we all lose sight, but maybe a day. Oh my god. That's all? Why is it suddenly happening this also, we're all living in each other's pockets, so... He doesn't have it. ...is going to spread more easily. Why not? You don't seem to be infected. Everyone's infected. But him. This may maybe have something to do with your alien ghost friend. Possibly. So, all of our safety depends on him. Yeah, because you're all going to be blind except Holden. Because Holden's got proto-molecule power. Oh. Don't worry. I'll see for both of us. Mercury. Get back to your post as an order. Go. It's like we're all gonna be blind in the day, so let's go. Oh. What? Has has the green thing in his eye made him nice? No, I don't trust it. Unless I can find the reason that you seem to be immune. Well, it's probably the really same reason <laughs> Blue Goo talks Not to me. Everybody talks to an alien. He made it sound like a burden. Yeah, if you knew the guy talking, made it feel the same way. <laughs> I don't think I would. It's not the same. You don't have the choice. No. Any scientist would kill to change places with you. We can't really make it happen either. So it's kind of like very little control. The doctor lady said it was allergies. It's not. It's much worse. How much worse? Got maybe a day before it all goes blind. 
pardon me? Well, no. No, Christian. You need to not care as much. <laughs> it could work, but do we have enough time to do all this? I'm going to find out. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's go. The tide is high, but we're not moving. You mind? You're fucking joking, right? She's working. You heard what Holden said. He's going to defend the Belter's claim. Which is why I'm not putting my fate in the hands of a court. We have to silence Holden now. What? You see, Liam? He's on water purification duty until further notice. Penance for overreaction. You, what? Don't you touch Holden. Things aren't going to end well on this planet for Holden. Hey. To know that you've got my back when no. I my move. No. You've never had to pay for my loyalty. I'm not happy with Mercury right now. He turned back into the evil Real. man. Yes, this good thing. Uh-oh. Oh! What the hell? That's how he died. Yeah, don't touch that water. Oh! Run! You're dead. You're gonna die now. Okay, people, you need to leave this. The sky. The oh! I got neurotoxin slugs. Okay then. So, uh. Oh! I guess. Can we just back out of that, please? Like, come on. I guess this is the hold my beer moment. Everywhere. This is the hold the beer moment. We're gonna be blind oh my with. Gosh. With no deadly with slugs. Poisonous, falling slugs. Which one are you going to take? Send in your Marines, General. Oh, they're, yes, gonna, they're going to go into the ship. We just want to get Marco if he's even in there. Sweet. That was fast. Boom. Took you down. There's gonna be no one in. <gasps> no, there's no one in there, right? It's empty. And they're gonna blow it up, and all those people are gonna die. Um. What's going on? What's happening? Do they have control of the ship? They're moving to ops. Another 30 seconds. No, it smells bad. Yep. He's firing. Oh, no. This is not good. Oh, no. Yeah, it blew up. It was a trap. It's a trap. Ah, man. That's not gonna look good. Nope. You know, she can't, 
she's in she's actually in charge so there's no way she's gonna look good nope ever all right that was episode seven of season four and yes uh, Expanse just said, hold my beer. <laughs> yes, okay. Now we have like neurotoxin green slugs. Why? Everybody's going blind and they're going to get killed by neurotoxin slugs. Either way, life doesn't look very good. But Holden doesn't have the green nope. eyeball disease. So what's up with that? We do know that Holden can see Miller when Miller feels like appearing. That it's really the protomolecule that's talking to him. Is the protomolecule... That talk is Holden somehow is he protected somehow. because he has this connection to the proto molecule. I guess they'll they're gonna analyze his blood and see if they can figure out how to cure it because he's immune to this thing. At least they think so. Everyone else has it. So and the doctor is is downplaying it, telling everybody that it's just allergies, but it's not. That sounds really familiar to me yeah, right now. Yeah, sounds very familiar. <laughs> you want to cause a panic. Yeah, so it's uh, it's blind. The people are going to go blind within a day. Except that something bad is actually going to immediately happen here. Yeah, so they're in the horn. Can't get out yet. Um, the belters don't have as much supplies as the earth people. And Mertry was like, pretty much he's not sharing the supplies. But he doesn't want a panic to start either, so he's kind of walking this line. But he knows that once the Belters like lose all their stuff, they're gonna try to get it, and he's ready to kill them all. Yeah, because he wants the planet to himself. Because he gets giant, a giant profit motive here. He gets one percent of the of the outstanding claim. Mm hmm If they get rid of the co the counterclaim. Yes. So it's in his best interest to have everybody on the other side buy it. Yes, and he also said he needs to silence Holden. Yep. I don't like that. Because Holden's going to support the Belter's claim to the planet. Yeah, he kind of promised he that. would. But the issue is Holden may have the cure to multiple things. Yep. He may also not be affected by these greed slugs. Who knows? So there was a little scuffle when a Belter, I think, tried to steal some water from the Earth side. He got caught and the... And the Earth guys were trying to beat him up, and Mertry was like, no, 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 stop. Like, stop. So then this one of those guys goes looking her for his friend later and finds him dead, like next to some water. Thinks the Belter did it. Immediately assumes the Belter killed him, so takes the Belter and decides to drown him. And everyone's like, no, 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 you're stopping this. But it was too late because the guy actually had, <laughs> the guy had slugs all over his face. Yeah. So he died from green slugs, which obviously is how the other guy died. Yep. There weren't slugs on him at the time because they'd already killed him and left his body. So they're like leeches. Once they're full, they leave. And then Holden's like shining his beam of light and there's slugs everywhere. So I would have beetled it right out of there because they were dropping from the ceiling. They hit one person, the guy, the bald guy who was going to kill the belter immediately he, he dies in seconds this is the worst planet ever yeah meanwhile Jeez. up in orbit the barb and the rossi are still trying to work out a plan so they can get the barb into a higher orbit so it doesn't burn down yeah so, so they've created some kind of tow rope out of mining nets they're gonna get a tow strap and yank that yank that four-wheeler out of the mud uh funny how the earth ship isn't involved in this at all it's just the belters and the rossi and then on Rossi's Earth... Rossi's the only one that's got enough battery power to do yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, they're trying to save it because it, it will crash in like two days. The other issue... It, well, they think also that if they take the Rossi out beyond the moons... Maybe the fusion drive will work. Yeah, they think the, the moons have something to do with it. And they could be very right. I mean, they're in a, in, a, in a ring formation. Just reminds me of the ring. And on Earth... Christian is desperately trying to win this election. Yeah, politics not going well for her. And and she's making choice. She apologized for not seeing the terrorist movement before it happened and not being tough on them. So then she has this two options. Blow up that ship that they think Marco's on. 
or send Marines into the ship to get Marco. Well, as we predicted, it was a trap. Yeah. Ship's gone. Marines gone. Marines are all dead. They went in there. Total failure. There was random people who obviously they wanted to kill. They're just sitting on the ship. Boom. Then it was gone. So in one, now Christian's going to, um, she's not going to look good. Because she made another choice, and it's not a good one. And Gao's like three points behind her, so. It, the, the kicker is Gao's not making any decisions right now. Oh, yeah. So she has no way to fail. Yep. Christian has to openly fail over and over. And then her husband wasn't too pleased with her because she was starting, you know, telling people to F off every all the place. And she was not mad. She wasn't happy with him either. And then he was like, what, like, what will you do to win? Like, how far are you going to take this? She's like, as far as I have to take it. I don't think her husband's going to stick around much longer because she's going to become lethal at some point. She may take Gao out. I don't know, but I wouldn't underestimate Christian. She does what she feels she needs to do. And she can't picture herself losing because then she wouldn't be right. Yep, despite not asking she for this She has to job. be right. <laughs> yeah, just like she was like born into it or something. It's not even a job she really wanted. We didn't see Drummer or Ashford this, this episode, No Zero G Baby, showed back up. <laughs> So, yeah, um, Holden's life really sucks. I really wish, Holden probably wishes he was just still on the farm. Yep. Just go back to farming with your commune. That's cool. But uh, somehow this has to resolve itself. Is everyone going to go blind? Are they all going to die from the green slugs? Are, is, are they just going to start throwing themselves into the ocean from the top of the horn? <laughs> Because they just can't take it anymore. It's gonna out, just get rid of themselves. Yeah, and Murtry is no good. Nope, he's evil. For two seconds, he did that thing where he made me feel like a little bit for him. Like, oh, he's changing. He's becoming good. No. What other show was it where I gave someone the benefit of the doubt? And I was sorely disappointed. Oh no, it was Aaron Wright. It was this yeah. show. Yeah. Cause I was like, oh Aaron Wright, I hated him, but he's you know, he's he's doing the right he's thing. doing the right thing now. He fooled me. He be and I was like, dang it. Why do I always feel a twinge of sorrow for the people who I think, you know, are bad at first, but then show this like turn of character? And why can't they turn the character? Come on. Turn yourself around. And there was no Draper. No episode with Draper. And his motley her, crew. Her team of thieves. Anyway, if you like our videos, please subscribe. And if you'd like to check out more reactions to The Expanse, check out our playlists. And until next time, bye.